Battle of the Exes is such a brilliant Cheers episode. I know I say that about pretty much every episode, but there are some very specific reasons for why I love this. This is the 13th episode of the second season, directed by the brilliant James Burroughs, and this one focuses on Carla, and I'll get in with that in a moment, but I just want to share something that made me really laugh out loud. I won't give the punchline, but it's what Coach says after Cliff says, I'm thinking of a number between 1 and 10. I'm not somebody, when I'm watching something on my own, I'm not somebody who laughs out loud that often, so when something makes me laugh out loud, it me- it means it's really hit me. <laughs> <laughs> and that absolutely did. Cliff uh, was pretty wonderful in this, and so was Coach. But the main focus is on Nick, Nick Tortelli, and the fact that he's getting married to Loretta. Nick is played by uh, Dan Hedea. Loretta is played by Jean Kasem. And Carla is... Well, it's unclear what Carla's feeling, because I don't think Carla knows what she's feeling. Diane suggests she's not stopped loving Nick. Carla's just certain that she's getting annoyed at Nick rubbing it in her face. It's kind of unclear how she feels, and I think that works very well, because Carla's a very mysterious character, and she also doesn't usually wear her heart on her sleeve. So by not really making it very clear whether she does still have feelings for him, at least for the most part of the episode, or whether it is simply a case that she doesn't want to see her ex-husband happy and rubbing it in her face, I think worked really well. And how they handled it was pretty interesting and gave us a scene that I think, on the one hand, is really uncomfortable and something I wish never happened, but at the same time, very well done. So I'm going to include spoilers from now because I need to discuss that happens towards the end of the episode. So I'm just going to say spoilers from this point on. And what they decide to do is Carla decides to accept the wedding invitation as Sam and Diane encourage her, Diane initially reluctantly, but ultimately they encourage her to go to the to the wedding with Sam as her date and pretend that she's with Sam and very much rubbing this, you know, attractive relationship in her ex-husband's face and when they come back from the wedding. After a while, it's just Sam and Carla in the bar, and they're amazing friends. It's already been established that Carla is very much somebody who values her friendship with Sam. She knows a lot about Sam. She's always been there for him. And this episode shows that Sam can reciprocate that. And there's even the little competition where they show each other how much they know each other and um, you know, compete with with Sam claiming he knows more about Carla than she does about him. And I think it was beautiful. And it's interesting because there's not a strong will they, won't they? But there is this kind of air of they know each other so well, they get on so well and they support each other. How have they never been together? And then, of course, we get the kiss. And on the one hand, it was really uncomfortable because it was kind of like... <laughs> I find it hard to describe because when I say it's like watching two friends kiss, that isn't necessarily uncomfortable because a lot of people are friends before they are in a romantic relationship. But I guess because we've spent so long with them being friends that seeing them kiss just feels like it's unexpected. It's it's, it's breaking the boundaries of this solid friendship. And a lot of people even if they have romantic feelings for a friend, refuse to act on it because that friendship is so valuable they don't want to risk ruining it if the romantic relationship falls apart. And that's kind of how I feel with this. I'm watching it thinking, I love both of you, but you shouldn't be doing this because I don't want either of you to get hurt. You have an amazing friendship. But I think the way they both responded to it was perfect within the episode. I think how they responded to it was the right decision for the writers to make and the right decision for those characters. They could have made a big deal out of it. What does this mean? Should we get together? No, they just evaluated the situation, addressed what was happening in the moment, and moved on with the rest of the episode. And I thought it was really touching and really moving and very, very well done. I can't say anything about what happens with... Sam and Diane, Sam and Carla, Carla and whoever. I don't want to spoil future episodes, but just based purely on this episode, I think everything was handled very well. It's great to have Carla back in focus. It's great to have Carla in focus 
that doesn't revolve around her being pregnant because up until now that's basically been the case and I have to say it's a really solid episode it's something I imagine a lot of people can be can be able to relate to unfortunately and not that I'm saying everybody should follow the advice of this and take a fake partner to a, a wedding but it helps to show that if you do have a similar feeling or mixed feelings with Carla then maybe there are ways of working through it I like that uh, I think it's a really solid episode very well written great performances of course yet again as I pretty much say with every Cheers episode I thoroughly enjoyed watching it <laughs>